Hello there, boaters. I'm Lenny Rudeau here today for Boat US Magazine. And today, we have a slightly different topic we want to cover. We want to make sure that everybody is familiar with the new regulations regarding engine cutoff switches. This is a standard engine cutoff switch, ECOS for short. And although they've only been required equipment on boats since 2019, just about all the modern outboard powered boats running around out there have one installed. Here's how it works. As long as this clip is in place, the engines are running, and then I have this lanyard clipped onto a ring on my life vest or maybe a belt loop. Let's say I'm driving along and all of a sudden the boat gets hit by a really big wave and it knocks me around. The engine's cut off. There are also some electronic cutoff switches. Most of those have a bracelet or a lanyard. And if you go overboard, they actually work by distance away from the helm as opposed to a physical switch. A lot of people really like these because they're less restrictive. You can move around, you're not hindered at all. But the downside is they do cost a bit more. And of course it requires special installation. Here's what's new. Now, not only is it required for your boat to have the system if it's a new boat, but if your system had one previously installed, you're required to wear this lanyard anytime you run the boat. Now there are plenty of exceptions. It doesn't apply to boats over 26 feet in length or boats that have an enclosed cabin. If you drive your boat from inside of a cabin, it's not a requirement. Plus, if your boat creates less than 115 pounds of static thrust, that's about three horsepower. Again, it's not a requirement. And additionally, even on a boat like this, when you're operating at idle speed or just drifting around, you don't have to have it attached. This is a matter of when you're on plane running the boat at speed. One more exclusion, if your boat was not built with an engine cutoff switch, well, you certainly don't have to install one, but we at Boat US would recommend doing it. In fact, even though this is a new law, we have always recommended wearing that engine cutoff switch purely as a matter of safety. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and don't forget, click below to subscribe.